the left, and for some people that seems to be a, a taboo thing. Like they don't yes. want to talk about the left. Oh, you can't. I'm first of all. So I found out that uh, people who want to make it in the Democratic Party are not allowed to come to my shows. No. So I was doing a show, and this woman who I know who was involved in Democratic politics, and I kind of want to say anything about who they are because they'll get in trouble. And so she came to my show, and she goes, "You know, this other person who's." climbing in the Democratic Party was supposed to come with me and at the last minute she didn't and I called her and I said why don't you come and she goes you know if I get seen at a Jimmy Dore show my career in the Democratic Party is over oh it's Kamala Harris I could tell by your <laughs> accent you racist piece of shit I could tell couldn't you tell Jamie I could tell and I'm like that's that way <laughs> She, has she ever been on your show? Kamala Harris? Yes. No. Oh, must be her. Oh, we did some quick, easy FBI work right there. So anyway, I, that made me feel good. That makes me feel right. good. I want to like, be an outsider. I yeah. don't want to, I want people to be afraid of me. They're afraid of you now. Well, I don't know if they are, but they won't come on my show. So that's good. And by well, the way, my show was never about guests. My show was all about my opinion. Of course. And calling out bullshit. Yeah. So it's well, not... That's, nobody you're doing the right thing. You're doing, I'm doing the wrong thing because they all keep asking to be on my show. Oh, okay. I've had requests from all of them. Really? Oh yeah, Biden, Warren. How do you how do you resist Mayor that Pete. shit? Because I have my friends. I'd so, rather talk to my friends. Yeah, I know. I would. I get a I boner. I like Tulsi and I like I like uh, Bernie. That's it. Oh yeah. Everybody else can eat shit. Look at you, fucking progressive. Yeah. Well, I've always been. Yeah. What? Yeah. Everyone says you're a right winger. They're out of their fucking mind. I've never voted right wing in my life. Really? Never. Never. I voted Democrat except for independent. I voted for Gary Johnson because he did my podcast. <laughs> People don't realize how par. Like I, I yeah, I'm not. I'm not right wing at all. Oh, okay. No, that's wild. No, there's nothing about me that's right wing. Well, yeah. you kill your own food. Uh, that's it. Well, that's crazy. The, the 95 plus percent of the population of the planet eats meat. I just happen to kill my own. Yeah. That's it. So that it, it's not like ninety five percent of the population is right wing because they kill their own food. I th I think there's a lot of right wing like family values and things like that that I admire. I think, but when it, when you can't, when it gets to homophobia, when it gets to women's rights, that's where I break. Right? I I am a hundred percent in favor of women's rights. A hundred percent in favor of gay rights, gay marriage. I, I'm a big proponent of. Th there's got to be some new action taken to clean up a lot of these crime-ridden communities and the idea that we can spend all this money overseas but we can't spend money on Flint, Michigan or Detroit or the south side of Chicago, that to me is insane. That doesn't make any sense. And this idea that we're all on the same starting page is so fucking stupid too. That That is a very non-right-wing way of looking at it because everybody's like, you got to pull yourself up by your bootstraps. There's a lot of people that came out of bad neighborhoods but they didn't, they didn't fucking cry, woe is me, they just right. went out there and they kicked ass. That's nonsense. You have no idea what it's like to grow up in a crime-ridden, poverty-infested, drug-addled neighborhood. You don't know what that's like, and we should make it so that no one knows what that's like. If we want America better, the best way to start is to clean up all the spots that suck and make people that are coming out of there have a real chance at making something out of their life. Don't, don't have it so that they're starting out from the time they're a child with a massive deficit. That, to and me... What, and what you mean by clean, cleaning up the place... Uh, I mean community programs, you, putting money into these communities. Jobs. Jobs. Not, not just jobs, but community programs where kids have a safe place to go. Mm -hmm. That's a big part of it. Protect them from the gangs. Mm -hmm. Put more cops in those neighborhoods and have them there all the time. Make them a part of the community. they got to do something about the violence and do something about the gangs and this repetitive cycle of people growing up in these neighborhoods and getting trapped in these same horrible conditions that their parents did or their grandparents did. And it's an end the cycle we and we pretend like we don't have the resources to fix these but FDR did FDR went and gave yes, every you want a job I'll give you yes, a job yes. that means you're gonna go work it's yeah. not I'm not giving you anything you're earning it and yeah. guess what we have the money for it wouldn't that be amazing if they did that it, there could be strategies that are implemented they might all not all work but I don't see like I don't They're feel like anything. anything's doing yes yeah. we're gonna so, have we're gonna have enterprise zones yeah that, obviously that doesn't and then they, and then they want the school to fix all the problems yeah. of the community no what you need is jobs this, what people need is something to look forward yes. to they need to know that they if they do play by the rules they will get things you can have a job right now those people work have, and they don't have any health care right. and then they get broken their life goes upside down exactly. i mean you know how i ha i have a job but i got sick my life got turned upside down yes. because of bills and this is not just 
black communities either. We're talking about the coal mining communities with, in West Virginia. West Virginia, exactly. It's horrific, man. You don't even, like, I have a good friend who's from there. It's like, man, you don't know what poverty is like. You don't even know what poverty is like until you see that. These I people talked, have nothing. I talked to a guy on my show. His name is Nick Smith from Virginia. And he told me, he was a Waffle House cook. And he told me, and I, I might have even told you this before. He said, hey, we all knew that Donald Trump was a loudmouth Yankee who should have had his ass kicked a long time ago. But Hillary Clinton wasn't offering us anything. So mm. he was at least offering us something. Right. So they're desperate. Yeah. These people need something. Yeah. Liz, Liz, she wouldn't even sign on to a $15 minimum wage when she was running. What, is it, what the fuck's wrong with you? Yeah. And well, she didn't even believe in gay marriage until 2013. Mm -hmm. How about that? Mm -hmm. 2000 fucking 13. She, this is when she came around with gay marriage. Get you the were, fuck you were, out of here. You were ahead of her here. on that, weren't you, Joe? Yeah, well, I actually lived in San Francisco around gay people when I was real little. I was really? like 7 to 11. My family lived right off of uh, Lombard Street. We no lived, kidding. Yeah, we lived in San Francisco in the height of the... I mean, it was the Vietnam War. There's all these hippies. My wow. stepdad's a hippie. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. So it's like, I mean, I've been liberal my whole life. I just look like a Republican. <laughs> You know? Yeah, I think that's a and it. And you like beating the shit out of people. Well, I like some violent things, and I have guns, and, you know, there's a lot of things <laughs> that. that you could make an inference. Like, oh, that guy seems like he would be. But no, I... My friend, my it, friend Graham Elwood is... Uh, do you know him? Sure. He's He was on his live stream the other day, and he's very anti-war like me, and so these people were fucking with him to be pro-war. And he's like, that's right, I'll knock you out. That's right. You ever been knocked out by a vegetarian? <laughs> <laughs> Like, that that's should be a t-shirt. You ever been knocked out by a face? That's hilarious. Well, that's another group that people like to play identity politics with. What are you eating? You know, how much how, how much of that is... So you with the meat. So my doctor, Dr. Yeah. Sharp. So now you have a special bone problem, Dr. Right? Sharp from Pasadena? That's right. <laughs> That's the that guy? holy shit! Yeah, I should have said that. I would have been yeah. on it, man. So he tells me, yes, he, he always does this, like this, right? He goes, now, Jimmy, you're from Chicago. You eat meat, right? <laughs> <laughs> you eat deep dish pizza, right? That's what it says to me. And I go, uh, I go, yeah, I'm trying not to. And he goes, why? I go, you know, uh, I, global warming. I saw cows jumping like dogs. I, I, <laughs> I feel bad. That's that video of that's them what bouncing around? Yeah. I well, can't eat I can't eat pork just anymore. Just get it. Well, I, can't, I just can't eat pork, pork anymore. Is, pork is shady. I can't do it. But, but... Wild pigs must be stopped. Oh, they're they they can kill you, right? Boars, oh, yeah. wild oh, boars. Well, they killed a lady in Texas and ate her. They they found her an, an elderly lady. They found her in her driveway, torn apart by wild pigs. Yeah, she was on her way out to the car, and she just ran into a pack of them, and they took her out. A pack? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the, I've seen videos. Those things are. But they have to kill them. There's so many of them, and they breed so quickly. They bleed. They have four in a litter. They'll have four litters in a year. Really? Yeah. Bang, 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 bang. That's why there's millions and millions of wild pigs. Oh. They started with just a few pigs that were on like the Pinta or the Santa Maria or some shit, and they spread across the entire country. But once you find out that they have emotions. Yes, that's a problem. That's what I can't hit. I can't do that. They have that's emotions. That's why you shoot them from a distance. <laughs> Joe. 